All right, founding DBO family, it's Eric, it's John, it's a whole bunch of other amazing people here. Every Saturday, we like to come around together as one big team around this beautiful campfire that's blazing and blazing and growing stronger each week. Uh, we are just having some fun here, just talking about what an amazing couple of weeks. And every week, we're attracting more and more high character, high quality, just amazing people from literally all walks of life, 18 year olds, 85 year olds, every demographic. And that's indicative of something that's so special here. And uh, friends, yes, I normally try to get dressed up for you a little more. I am getting ready to head out to my son's baseball games. I have to coach. It's 39 degrees. It's windy. It's drizzly. So uh, wish me luck on that. But I would never miss this opportunity because I grow so much. And as we look at the leaders in the field that are really stepping up and answering the call to leadership, they're the ones really plugging in, really kind of treating this like that once in a lifetime opportunity, always growing, uh, always expanding their minds, always learning new skill sets to help them to be successful. But today we've got a really, really special presentation for you because we get to bring, first of all, one of our many leaders and we're going to bring leaders on each week that are out there, you know, earning the microphone time. We're one of those companies that uh, we are attracting a lot of people with lots of different certifications, lots of different personal success stories, professional success stories. Um, but we're not a we're not a company of entitlement, right? All those skills, those accolades are great, but it's a matter of who's really applying and transferring that information, those knowledge and skills out into the field and building this gift. That's what really commands respect. That's really what leadership, in my opinion, is about, is leading by example, not from a dictatorial uh, point of view. But um, having said that, I'm going to uh, have the privilege of shutting my mouth because I get to bring in one of these tremendous servant leaders that we've attracted right at our infancy. You realize a lot of uh, successful movements throughout history, they'll go years and years before they attract the right types of people, those that have the ears to hear the message. And here we are, good grief. I'm looking at Dustin, Karen, Braden, Vaughn, Andy. I'm looking at, I don't want to leave anybody out. I'm just going through the participants. So many successful people from various walks of life that are collectively bringing their skill sets here. But today we're going to hear from a gentleman that I've come to grow a really quick, wonderful friendship with, Mr. Andy Tenney. He brings a very diverse business background. He was in investments, healthcare, administration, personal leadership development. His degree was in accounting. I'm like, there's no way you have such a great personality. I'm just kidding to all you accountants. But he loved the business world and finance. So he quickly learned he wanted to be more on the people side. And since then, He's held many different leadership roles with many managers that report directly to him, and he loves to be involved with the employees. Those of us who've been employees, you know how special it is to have somebody who actually cares about your success. He's originally from San Diego. He loves the sun, warm weather. That's why he's not in Indiana with me. There's no beaches here. He currently lives in Alpine, Utah with his wife, Joni. They have seven kids. Seven kids. And they're all active, family-oriented, loves being outdoors, playing sports, and working out. He's living in the foothills of the mountains and loves to mountain bike and trail run. Most importantly, he's just an amazing guy. He's indicative of the types of people we're attracting. So he's going to give us some great leadership, mindset training. He's going to do it in a way that applies to all of us. But this man could speak for hours and hours. He actually gets paid to go and speak on these topics, and he's bringing it to us because of the passion and love he has in his heart. So having said that, Mr. Andy Tenney, take it away, brother. All right. Thank you, Eric. Uh, that's uh, You almost talked long enough that I could be done. So thank you. Um, <laughs> no, um, so I am grateful to be here, guys. Um, I'm going to, did you set up that I could share my screen? Or and I guess, I guess it's, I don't need to be a co-host to do that. So I can start doing that. So uh, I'm going to go through a couple things here. Um, just that I think there are, as I've been in this work, working with the, the leaders of this uh, company and you guys and just seeing how well uh, we can get going up. So I hit a wrong button. Sorry, guys. This is sounding really shaky at the beginning. So let me get back to here. What did I just do? Sorry, guys. It's talking and hit the wrong button at the wrong time. So uh, let me get back into this other thing that I can share the screen properly. 
Andy, have you ever seen one of my presentations? I screw it up every single time. You're way ahead of the curve, brother. Don't worry. <laughs> oh, gosh. Uh, okay. So now, me, oh, I'm going to have to do this anyway. So share screen. All right. We'll just do it this way. So, all right. So I want to go over some things that just help me to see the way that we, it's just the why why mindset matters. I mean, that's what we kind of talked about is leadership and mindset. And I know that's kind of a, a topic. I actually, as uh, Eric mentioned, I, I work for a company right now that is is a, le a leadership consulting firm. And we go out and we we meet with companies and large organizations to help help them see where we can make progress. And it all, all, ultimately, the bottom line is to drive results, right? But if we start with the people and we start with caring, we start with making a connection, then all of a sudden, without any like massive new processes or anything like that, engagement goes up, right? Why does engagement go up? Because people are, they feel loved and a part of it. There's inclusion. Um, and obviously when engagement goes up, productivity goes up and then we drive results. So we, we have a lot of success in that. And we'll go into that a little bit here. Um, and I don't want to spend too much time on it. I'll just focus on a couple other things that I just, that really drive me and, and help with the mindset. But if any of you have read any of the uh, Arbiter Institute books, and I know Richard Smith's a big fan of them and wants to kind of push them within the organization, but the first one is is called Leadership and Self Deception, and it's kind of a book about it's it's told in a business setting, uh, but it's more about the philosophy. Um, it's a hypothetical business situation, but it's based off a of true true clients that they had in their situations. Um, so it's an easy read because it's a hypothetical business story. But within it, all their books talk about personal examples, too. And so that's what I really love is like, even though I'm on the business side of the business consulting, everything that we do is relates to us. And besides just the personal stories, but everything is organizationally driven. So um, and an individual is, belongs to a family, individual belongs to a community, an individual may belong to a, a church or other organizations or anything. So everything can have, be an organization and it's all the way we look at people. So that's what I love about it. And so if we go through here and you see here that um, anytime, anytime we want to do something, there's always a challenge, right? Um, if we want to do something different, if we want to have some different success. And so we look at it and what's the number one thing? Just think about in the back of your mind, anytime you uh, come to something, think about it like a job that you're at or even in, in your own family um, or those of you who are parents, if you want to drive something different, you want your kids to do something different or they, you think they're making a bad decision or doing something wrong, you know, what do you want to do? You want to change their behavior, right? And we're so quick as humans to jump to that behavior. Um, and where, where I like to really study um, and where Arbingers helped me to help study is to really, really understand, well, what's behind that behavior? Behaviors can be done in different ways. Um, and so it's really about the mindset. And so they take Arbinger's talking, taken about gone from their first book of talking about the philosophy of you seeing people as people, if you, any of you have read that. And the whole idea of that is to just make sure that we are aware of how people are feeling, what they're going through. Um, to um, And they used to just talking about it as a, way, a way of being to know more, more something that fits in with more business understanding is a mindset and having an outward mindset. Um, but that's the bottom line too, is like when we go through this and we see people as people, we need to make sure that we're, we're understanding everything behind that besides just implementing a new process to try to drive results, because that would just be the behavior and it just, it, it, it never goes well. And this is why. So if you look here, Out of the way. I think this is just on my screen. That's in the way. Sorry, guys. Um, but if you look here, this is this is where we get a lot of our results that we talk when we're, we're talking with big people. Is like McKinsey, who is another huge leadership research company. They've done a lot of research and they found out that, that organizations that identify and address persuasive mindset uh, at the outset, so at the beginning, are four times more likely to succeed in organizational change efforts than companies that are overlooked this stage. And so this this is phenomenal. I don't know about you guys, um, but I want you guys to think about it. And even you raise your hands, even if you have your camera off, you know, if you're thinking like, hey, would I just want to be successful? Would I want to be four times more successful? I want 400% more success in my life. I mean, hey, that's me, right? Hopefully you guys are feeling the same way of like, 
if there's a way to get something four times more successful, then I want to learn about it. And that's what the and that's what they've really discovered is addressing the mindset. And so what is a uh, mindset? Well, we define it as outward mindset versus inward mindset. And obviously, um, I, I created this slides with some video links, but I know those don't go very well on Zoom. So um, uh, so I'm just going to discuss them. But here, um, when we talk about an outward mindset, it's really just focusing on that way of being. Of, are we really seeing people as people? Do we care about them? And seeing them as people means do we not just see them as people in our lives, but do we see their their interests, their concerns? Because there's different ways to see people. We can see people as objects, people that get in our way. And this just sit back and think about that. You know, is there there are people? Have you had bosses or coworkers or different people like that that are like, yeah, they just annoy me or they get in my way? Or are you seeing them as objects still? But even though you don't think they're like. They're, you don't like them, but you see them like, oh, they're a vehicle. I can use them to get to look good. I can use them to get my next promotion. I can use them to look good on this task. Is that really seeing people as people? Or again, it's seeing them as an object because you can use them or is they, they a hindrance where they're getting in my way um, or they're a competitor and I uh, have the wrong feeling towards them. So there's different ways to see people. And the outward mindset is all about seeing them and caring about their views, their values, their stresses, their worries about just as much as you see and worry about your own. And obviously, the opposite side of that is that inward mindset when we become self-focused, self-centered, and we just don't care about people. So um, one of my favorite things to do with this uh, is subject is to take it to um, positive psychology. And I love studying about positive psychology. So if any of you guys have seen this before, this is uh, a, a TED talk by uh, Sean Aker, who has uh, wrote the book, The Happiness Advantage. And he talks about that happiness advantage and the, the, the effects of positive psychology. And I, I included this on here too, because it's it's funny too. So I, I know it's kind of boring to listen to me for a while, but he's hilarious. And so if you get a chance to listen to uh, Sean Akers and his secret to being happy, is uh, it's pretty phenomenal. And it, it's short, it's only like 12 minutes long. But uh, he talks about a lot of good things in here about how happiness and how our mindset really matters and how we take that to another level. And uh, one of the, and, and, and then the science behind it too, it's not just like, you know, the, the nice philosophy of it, but he even talks about the, when you have a positive attitude and you use that positiveness in your life, then there's a dopamine release and that affects not just the happiness, but it also triggers your mind to react quicker and you can learn better and be more open to things. So, like I said, I didn't. We, it's not. We're not going to show it because it's not a doesn't stream very good on Zoom. But uh, take some time to to read that. It, it's pretty cool. So, um, so I want to get into like how I've had success and and helping other people to teach this about about how we can have how why mindset matters and how we can get ourselves in the right frame of mind to have the right mindset. And obviously, look in the middle of the screen there. If you think of if you everything that we think, everything that goes into our brain. Uh, we're thinking it always it always always causes a certain feeling, right? Whether it's positive or negative, and when that feeling comes, it creates an energy within us, positive or negative, and that that energy creates an action, right? And then obviously that action creates a result. So, how do we control that? If we listen to you know try to do this happiness advantage and create that right mindset of happiness, so we have that dopamine release to help us be more positive and to be able to learn quicker and better and be more open to learning, then how do we do that? We control it by words. If you think about the words, uh, I know um, in this industry, we're really good about, and I've talked to John and Eric are just like, say all the time, control what you can control, right? Well, what's one thing that we control? We can control what we're thinking. We can control the words that we're putting into our mind. Now, with that, there are different things that trigger that, right? We have our five senses, uh, there, everything we see, hear, smell, taste, or touch are always helping, you know, targeting into our mind and helping us to um, create different things of how we're thinking or remembering or different things like that. But there's also, if we take it to another level, there's levels of perception, reason, imagination, memory, will, intuition, more creative gifts besides those things that just naturally come to us that help us to control those. And if we learn to control our mind, and now there's all kinds of lessons with a, about the conscious mind versus the subconscious mind and uh, it's not something we'll get into right now, but if we use those to help us control how we really think, then we can control that energy that we're we're releasing. So, with that, I, I put this quote in here too because I haven't found that with this industry, but I found it with other industries, or at least with our company here. And this says, "Be careful of who you ask an opinion of. 
most people will base their future, your future potential off of their past experience. And for some of us, like I said, I haven't found that much with transact card, just because what we're talking about, the value proposition is like, like people have already said, oh, it's a no brainer, right? It's, it's phenomenal what it does, but you do find some people that are, you know, the uh, negative Nellies and say, oh, you this, that, whatever, like, oh, what are you doing? Oh, I want to see the whole Z store first. You know, we've all heard those, right? But they really want to give an opinion based on what hasn't worked for them in the past or so they don't think it'll be successful. So when we're doing a new entrepreneurship thing, uh, I just wanted to throw that out that just be careful because we know what the good is and we can control our mind and we want to make sure that we're listening to powerful people that will help us uh, to continue to grow and, and be just keep growing the way we do because we know the value proposition is huge. And this is where I really get a lot of strength. Many of you guys have probably heard this quote, and this is one of my favorite quotes. Viktor Frankl, you know, was in the Nazi concentration camps, you know, and he was uh, he was a very successful professor in Austria. And when um, the Germ uh, when uh, Hitler took over and was doing the concentration camps, he he lost everything. He lost everything. It was so sad. And and he saw the the torture that was going on. He saw his family getting ripped of everything and he even saw the people get killed in the concentration camps. And he, he discovered, he discovered himself that the one thing that they could not take from him was his own mind, his own ability to think and react to different things. And all the people that got negative ended up, you know, a lot of them ended up dying and being miserable and having horrible times. But he said, I'm going to keep my mind. They cannot take that from me. They take my family. They've taken this. They've taken my clothes. They've taken my life, whatever. But he's not going to give that up. So he said, and in his book, he said, between stimulus and response is a space. In that space lies our freedom and power to choose our response. In that response, in that response lies our growth and happiness. So I want to divide that up a little bit further here. Um, so if we have this stimulus... And then we go, there's that space between the response and what's, you know, we know that the different things that we're seeing and feeling and everything are always giving us different stimuli to think about or to react to, but there's freedom and power in that space. How do we make sure that we're growing um, so that we can have happiness? And that's what's, that's what's powerful here is like, so if we think about it, we have our thoughts, right? Anything that stimulates us, we can think about it and we can either accept it or reject it. Now that's a powerful thing. And I'm going to go, I'm going to back up a little bit here to tell you guys a little bit more about myself. One of the reasons why I'm so into these things is I've always been, how do I would, I've, I've always been a very positive person around other people and love caring about people, love working with teams, love helping people, loving to do all that kind of stuff. But in reality, towards myself, I was pretty negative. And there, it, I was so negative that even as a young kid, there was a family joke uh, that uh, there's a couple of family jokes that would go on because uh, I remember one time I was in Little League. So I don't know, I was probably 11, 12 years old. And, uh, you know, my dad was at the game and I uh, had a good game. I hit a home run and my dad just being a good dad driving me home. And he said, hey, great hit, Andy. That was a great home run. You never guess what my response was. It's, it, I think back about it, and it's almost, it's almost too comical to talk about. But he's, I said, yeah, but it didn't go over the fence very far. <laughs> I was just, that's crazy, right? Your dad's trying to give you a compliment, and you're being negative saying, yeah, but it didn't go over the fence very far. Um, and so that kind of became a family joke. And the other one that it, whatever, I'd be complaining about something, my dad would say, Andy, quit being so negative. And I'd be like, okay, I'm positive this stinks. And uh, so just another little joke that we had amongst ourselves. Uh, and but also shows you why I like this stuff so much, because it's taught me that I can, how important, you know, the way you talk to yourself and the thoughts and the words that you use in your mind, how powerful they are. And I've been able to learn how to change that, accept that. And so, but that's exactly what this is, is your thoughts. Um, are you, when you get those thoughts, um, do you have a quick reaction? Are you a responder or a reactor or taking it to another level? Are you a creator? Can you use those thoughts to, to control that response and to get that stimuli where it goes, it leads to happiness and creation. And so that's what I'm hoping that we're all doing. And I know that we're all part of this transact card because we see that opportunity to, uh, to be that creator and to help bless other people's lives. So um, 
again, going back into the power of the mind is another one of my favorite uh, is uh, it's a little bit uh, a couple decades back, um, but Earl Nightingale is one of my favorite people. And if you haven't listened to him, um, he's, you can listen to his strangest secret uh, video on, on YouTube and it's powerful, but he talks quite about a lot of different things. But one of my favorite things is that power of the mind and he compares it to fertile ground of the soil. And he talks about how the ground, if you plant a seed and you, it's a good part of the seed, you nurture it, you take care of it, that seed's going to produce a product, right? And it's going to produce the same product that it would, that seed was planted for. Um, so if you're planting uh, a corn, it's going to grow corn. If you plant, uh, you know, whatever else you're planting in your farm or whatever else it is, the plants, the flowers, everything, it's going to grow that same type of thing. Obviously, you have to cultivate it, make sure you keep the weeds out and keep that mind healthy or that ground healthy. But it's the same thing with the mind. Whatever you plant in the mind, if you're planting good, positive thoughts, then you're going to be able to control that mindset and react in a different way. And you're going to, the byproduct will be good things. But same thing in the ground. It just doesn't matter. Like if you plant a poisonous plant, it's going to produce a poisonous plant. If you let bad things come in, negativity or other things come into your mind, then that mind is going to produce that byproduct of that negative plant or that poisonous plant. And so we got to make sure that our mind is clean, then we're producing and we're planting seeds of things that we want um, that are positive and that are worthwhile and that we can go after and attack. And as long as we keep cultivating it and not, not let those weeds choke, choke the good roots, right, then we can produce that phenomenal product. So it's another thing I'd encourage you to go, go listen to. Um, so I'm going to go back a little bit here and go back to uh, this, the, the feeling here. I want to really stress how powerful mindset is and how it controls us because like I said, everything's positive and everything you know, can be positive and everything is, can be negative. If you look at the world and the news and what you, what's out there, there's a lot of things that are negative. And if we start thinking negatively, then that'll cause that feeling and it'll be a negative feeling and it causes a negative energy. How many of you, again, you can raise your hands, even if your camera's off, you know, how many of you have walked into a room and just sensed something negative or you're around somebody, somebody that's just kind of down or you, you just feel the negativity and it's, it, it's not a good feeling, right? So the other thing is same thing with being positive. You walk into a room and there's uplifting, there's positive and you, you feel good. It gives you a little bit more energy. So I just really want you to focus on how important mindset is. If we can control what's going into our mind and we can do it with a positive way, we think positively, we feel positively, it causes a positive energy. We have positive actions and obviously we all want positive results. So it's going to lead to positive results. So, um, so those are some of the things that I've gone through and, and talked about uh, uh, that have helped me. wanted to focus this on too, when it comes to positive versus negative thinking. This isn't necessarily good or bad, but it's just another awareness that we can really help us out. Studies have shown that by the time we're just 17 years old, we've heard the word no or you can't on an average of 15, uh, 150,000 times. And think about it. It's reality. How many kids are, mom, can I have this? You know, I mean, what, what's the typical? Can I, can I have ice cream? I mean, they want cookies and ice cream for dinner, right? So you have to say no, right? There's a lot of no's in there. But, um, but you compare that to how many times we've heard yes, and it's only about 5,000 times. So that's 30 no's for every yes. So as humans, we're conditioned to have that negativity or no, I can't do this. No, I can't do that. And we just need to have that awareness that, that, that that's not necessarily reality. If we want something, we can go after it, especially as we learn the power of the mind, the power of words, the power of the mindset, how we can really go after things and make things happen. So I just thought that was a cool quote that I've always liked. And one, another one of my favorite was is on a commencement speech. I think it was at Stanford. Um, Steve Jobs gave a big talk. And one of the things that he said is that you know, you can't connect the dots looking forward. You can only connect them looking backwards. So you have to trust that the dots will somehow connect in the future. And how many times in our life have we just like, we're sat back and you're like, oh man, I just, I need this in my life. I need that. I need that. So like, oh, I wish I this. I don't know what step next, next step to take. But if we're positive and we're uh, going forward with positivity and our minds open up to learn more and hear more and more people come into our life, does all things line up? And we can always look back and see the dots connected but we just have to trust that they're going forward. And we're in a perfect spot in our, in what we're doing right now in with Transact Card to just lead out, to have fun, to be positive, to help others to see it. And that's what we're doing, right? We're just sharing. So it's a phenomenal, phenomenal thing. So one of the things that I 
that make all this work is gratitude. We've mentioned it a few times on these calls. Uh, gratitude, I think, is the antidote to anything negative. In fact, there's studies that show that uh, the number one uh, antidote to uh, depression is not, you know, chemical pills or different things. It's gratitude. And if we really learn that, um, gratitude is the other thing. In that talk by Steve Akers, he talks about how we can have that. And he gives a little example at the end. And the first thing is to think about three things, be grateful for three things, at least every day and write them down. And then to write a, a thank you email or something to somebody. Um, and it's, it's really opens up our mind to have the right perspective. And then all the other things, and then all the positive thinking that we talked about can come into our lives a lot better if we're really grateful for what we have and what we can do to help people the whole different perspective comes into our life. So I think I want to throw that in at the end because it's kind of just ties in everything that we're going to do at the end. Um, and so here's the summary of what I think is awesome. And just as you look at this slide, just think about what side would you rather be on? The left side or the right side? Would you rather be full of doubt and uncertainty? Would you rather have a mind that automatically goes to worst case scenario where you're stressed out? You have that worry, the fear all that anxiety and depression, just all these little things that just weigh on your body and make all the aches and pains hurt? Or would you rather be on the other side where like you have, you know, knowledge and confidence? You always go to best case scenario. Uh, you have a calmness about yourself. You're full of faith and excitement and momentum and wellness and growth. And obviously as part of FINMO, we're part of that momentum to help people and to bless people's lives, right? So I love this slide just because it helps to, there's always both sides and we can choose. If we can control our thoughts through that power of mindset, it makes a difference. And obviously tying it back into that first slide, if we have the right mindset, we all, even if we want to try to improve, there's definitely, definitely different behaviors we made it to do, but it may be the, the mindset, the underlying mindset of how we do that. Because sometimes, and even you need to, you need to change things or draw the line and do certain things. But if you're not doing it, it's easier to do it for yourself, but if you're trying to help other people doing it, are they really going to be doing it if you're not watching is the question. So if we address the mindset and get them involved and help them to see all these things that we're talking about and their mindsets there, then it's easy for them to adapt to any change that we need to take place. But overall, the, uh, the positivity that can come from having the right mindset so we can have that confidence, think of the best case scenario and drive that momentum and growth and wellness is what I'm here for. So why do I tell you all this? I firmly believe in a lot of John Maxwell's leadership laws. Uh, he has this book called The 21 Irrefutable Laws of Leadership. And one of them is the law of the lid. If we can, and that basically just says is we can't take other people higher than we've been ourselves. So if, we, if we're at a seven out of 10, we can't take people more than a five or maybe a six if we're lucky out of 10. So if we're helping ourselves learn and grow and develop, then we can become an eight and then we become a nine and then we become a 10 or whatever we're trying to work on. And then we can take people higher up with us. And here we are, we're in a business where we get to share a, a powerful tool that can help people um, in their lives. And we get to lead people out, lead people to have better lives and to help them. And so I, I want, I want to share as much as I can, if we can help anybody to become better and get help them to help others, bring them up with them, then, that's that's where I am. So love all these laws and the things that help us. And overall, I say, let's lead this out. Let's go get the world. Let's help and let's go out and help help everyone. So thank you, guys. Oh, man, that's so awesome. Guys, show Andy some love in the chat section. That was brilliant. I got a, like a page and a half of notes off there. And Andy, if it's OK, I'd love to get a copy of that PowerPoint. We could let people kind of review. So yeah, definitely. Great stuff, guys. Yeah, give Andy some love, everybody. How amazing that we have leaders like this. I know we have so many other leaders that have so many great insights to offer as well. And again, like Andy did, Andy stepped up and said, I'm not going to bring entitlement. I'm going to go apply what I know and start really bringing my gifts into this journey. And uh, so, so grateful for you, Andy. Thank you so much, man. That was just powerful stuff. And everybody's blowing up the chat, giving you all the love you deserve. And just grateful to have you as a core leadership pillar already for us. It's amazing. Thank you. All right, friends, we're going to shift gears here now. And we're going to let John McKillop bring it home. We've had a, many, many, many people, especially the new people that have joined in the last few weeks. Did you know our, our company's like grown by 200% in just the last few weeks alone? So we have a lot of new people that are excited. They've caught the vision. 
And obviously at the end of the day, you know, people want to know, well, how do, how do we make money? How, how do we get paid here? How do we transform our lives here? And John's going to break that down at a high level. We'll have more recorded, detailed compensation plan overviews and that sort of thing. But here's one thing I would say before I introduce John. You know, when I'm casting vision, you know, I cast it boldly. I'm looking for those that aren't afraid to dream big that, you know, you know, that again, we always say they can see it here first in order to believe it. The ones that need to see it out there in order to believe it first no problem. We're going to get all them in time. It's just going to get easier and easier to pick up those. But you know, when I'm out there sharing, I say, look, I honestly believe there's going to be 20 to 30 million transact cards out into the, our marketplace in the next two to three years. I want as many of those linked to my digital branch as possible because every time people swipe, I'm going to get paid. And sometimes you'll say, well, how much do you get paid? I mean, 0.001, 10 basis points. It doesn't seem like a lot, you know, Thousands of people seems like a lot sometimes, you know, those with limiting beliefs. So, you know, I'm never going to argue for somebody's limiting beliefs, right? They can keep those. But keep in mind, you bring in 10 people, maybe you're at a manager that gets you another 50 uh, TCMs from the corporate influencer database. How many of those do you think are just going to organically want to tell their friends and family about it to get value and get themselves another 500 Z bucks? So, this viral effect that's going to unfold. It's just amazing. Then those of us that understand the power of leverage that want to have other digital branches partnered with us, it just like pours fuel on the fire that's going to be burning here. It's going to be just beautiful. But um, I'm going to turn it over to John. You know, John has a beautiful analytical mind. He comes from kind of a, I think originally in college, CPA attorney. I mean, he he really oh. brings an amazing analytical mind to our journey. But more importantly than that, I'll just go on record. I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for John McKillop, guys. I love John. He is my dear brother. I've known him for over a decade. He uh, he has a heart to serve. Many of you have seen this. He's always out on calls. He's always checking in with our founding DBOs to get a pulse on things. And he has just become a dear brother. His whole family is very close to me. And not only does he bring tremendous skill sets from a corporate leadership standpoint, he brings the heart. And to me, you know, all the other talents and gifts are great, but unless somebody has a real heart to serve, and I know that person is a good steward of our hopes and dreams, that's become paramount um, in my life. And I'm sure that resonates with many of you. So we're just so blessed to have him as kind of our managing director, really the main liaison between, you know, our field leadership, hopes and dreams, uh, connecting us with corporate and all the other talents that he brings to the table. So, John, I uh, love you, buddy. We've had a lot of people just kind of wanting to break down a little more on our tremendous compensation plan. I know when you go over this, <laughs> there's light bulbs are going to be triggered um, and some people are going to have a tough time sleeping tonight. So I'm going to turn it over to you, my friend. Yeah, hey, Eric, thanks very much. And, you know, um, so there, there are, you know, there are, you know, um, you know, different types of people in, in the universe. There are, you know, somebody who's a driver, somebody who's an analytical, somebody who's an amiable or somebody who is, I mean, they just want to have fun. They're the ones you bring to the party. They're blue. They're fun, 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 fun all the time, right? Um. So the analytical is those of you that are green, that are engineer, and you're going to you're gonna love this, right? We're going to peel this thing kind of layer by layer. Those of you that are blues in about three minutes, you want to be putting needles in your eyeballs. The numbers you don't want to hear, you don't want, oh my, oh my, my head hurts. My, so I'm going to try to weigh the balance out. I'm going to try to put something kind of like right in the middle. I need to show you how some of this stuff works. Feel free to watch this, this area, this component of, of the recorded uh, training today. Watch it two or three different times. It'll kind of come to you, come to you. And just like Eric said, we're in the process of, you know, putting together some, some different you know, like five different three or four minute modules that will help allow you to kind of understand one section at a time at, as you go through this. But it's important that you know how to how how the money is made. Okay. At, at the end of this, I'm going to take you through not to say this is going to happen to you, but I've got a couple of very simple income scenarios of if you did this, this is this is what would happen. I want to show you the power of the plan that we have going on here, okay? So there's some very exciting things with this plan. I love the simplicity of, of what this plan does and all the behaviors that are mixed into it. So let me, let me go pull this up here and take everybody through. 
So I'm going to talk just for a moment. I'm going to talk a little bit about languaging because the languaging that we use is really important. You're going to hear the company or, or people use different languaging and it's really important. So I'm going to apologize for the next 60 seconds. TCM, Transact Card Member. When you're talking to somebody brand new and presenting, you, you know you, you don't want to go and then you, you can enroll a couple of TCMs. They have no idea what that acronym is. Well, Transact Card Member, those of you that are brand new, or we use that acronym TCM a lot, just like DBO, Digital Branch Office. So when you enroll and you open and you you pay your four ninety five and you have your own digital branch office, right? You're building your own digital branch office with your card members. As you enroll customers in, as you enroll TCMs, those are card members, right? Well, what happens is that when you when you then go and enroll other DBOs, you come in as a DBO and you enroll other DBOs, you're now building what's called your digital branch community. You're gonna so we don't we don't use words, oh, that's your downline. No, it's your digital branch community, right? So we want to we want we want to begin languaging in the correct way. You've got your digital branch offices, your transact card members, and you've got your digital branch community. Everybody, all the DBS that you've enrolled, their card members, so on and so forth, as as this begins to build. Okay. There are there are five, or excuse me, you're coming in as a DBO. There are six different rank. There are six different ranks in the company, or or um, promotions that that you can achieve. Okay, so there are different promotions you can achieve as you go build through through the plan itself. All right. So what happens is, I, I want to talk about the the commissions that you earn when everybody when somebody swipes the card. You're going to get paid a commission on that. How much commission are you going to get paid on? And then I'm going to take you through DBOs and everybody else within the system itself. But I want you to understand the, the money that, that you can earn within the plan itself. Okay. On the swipes, the most powerful component of our plan earning is the income that you earn from the swipes. Every time somebody swipes a card. Okay. You're going to earn people that you personally enroll. You're going to earn more the TCM. You're going to earn more per swipe on any on any card member that you personally enroll into your branch or any DBO that you personally enroll. You will earn more on those swipes than you will on DBOs and CUS and TCMs somewhere down in your digital branch community, three, four, five, six levels deep. Okay. So you're you're gonna you're gonna get paid um, more money. So here here's what you have. When somebody enrolls and you become a DBO, you you spend four ninety five, you become a DBO. You're in the system. Okay. We're gonna talk about being commission qualified at the very end because that part of the compensation plan today is not turned on. We're in a different part on May twentieth that the compensation plan will turn on. So we're going to come back to that. So when you enroll and you become a DBO, you are going you are going to earn five levels deep of other DBOs. You enroll one or two people, that's your first level. They enroll one or two people, that, that DBO, that's your second level. You're going to earn five levels deep of whatever those DBOs swipe on their cards and any TCMs that they enroll as they build their own personal branch, you're going to earn money five levels deep of DBOs and all of the customers combined. You're going to earn. You're going to earn on those swipes. So when you enroll a DBO and if they have 15 customers, that DBO and 15 customers, that's one level. You add all that volume up and you're going to make the money on the swipe. They enroll a DBO on the second level. They one they have 20 customers and the DBO. The 20 customers and the DBO, those 21 people, that's your second level because everything that ha is housed under another DBO in their in their branch, you add all that volume up and you get paid on on those swipes, right? So what defines a level is a DBO. A customer does not define a level. Okay. 
So when you enroll as a DBO in the system, you have your own digital branch, you're going to earn five levels deep of of commissions. And I'm going to take us back. I, I changed my mind. I'm going to take us back to what you earn on the commissions in just a moment. But you're going to earn five levels deep of all the swipes that take place with, within, your, within your community. Okay? To become a manager, you personally enroll three other DBOs. They come in the business. You now become a manager. And now we're going to pay you six levels deep of DBOs. So you picked up an extra level. So you're going to earn six levels deep of DBOs. And because you are now a manager, you, we're going to issue you a $500 rebate. Congratulations. You spent $495. We're going to issue you a $500 rebate. Now you're flush. Now you're playing with house money, right? You got your money back. Now you're playing with house money. It's very important, the people that you enroll, you get them to manage as quickly as possible. It's psychological. They've got their money back. They've enrolled three. They've, they've reached that, that first rank within the system. So look back into your groups. Who's moving and who's not? Go try to help those people that are not moving to move. If they don't want to move, guess what? Forget it. Don't forget about them, but go and, go and enroll somebody else until they, until they want to go work the business, right? You can't push a rope uphill. You want to work with the people that want to work right now. And right now, you're building as fast as you can to get as many people into the system, DBOs, to become part of the, the 5,000 founding DBOs in the company, okay? So now as a manager, you net, when you qualify as a manager, you're going to earn six levels deep. What happens is that we're going to pay you, there, there's two things which you can earn now. Going forward, anytime any new manager, their first their, their, their first week, because remember, people are promoted weekly, okay? You can become a manager, become a you become a new a new manager. Anytime that a DBL becomes a manager in the system, that releases a $50 grant. So say for example, I enrolled you, you become a manager. The company is going to pay me $50 and they're going to pay nine other DBOs above me $50 too. The company is going to pay 10 levels up of $50 every time somebody becomes a brand new manager. So in any given week, you might have two or four or five or six different people become a manager. In this example, anybody that becomes a manager within your first six levels of DBOs when they, when they become a manager, you're going to earn a $50 grant, right? So anybody this week that becomes a new manager, by, by Friday, next Friday, we pay out a $500 rebate to anybody who became a new manager, as well as we pay those $50 grants out to all those people that qualify with in, uh, above them, all the other DBOs above them, they could earn a $50 uh, developmental grant that first time that they become a manager. On top of that, you're going to earn a leadership bonus going forward. Every month, uh, the company is going to say, "Okay, at the end of the month, how many managers do you have in this in, in the system? How many managers? How many active managers do you have? Six levels deep, and we're going to pay you six dollars." for every active manager every single month going forward. So, so the key to this business is, is developing managers. You enroll somebody, you help them get their three, you help them become a manager. Now you're earning a leadership bonus. They've gotten their money back. They're feeling like they're in a much better place now and you help them to become a manager too, right? So your work has just started. You enroll somebody, you help them become a manager. You become a manager because you've enrolled three. Help each one of those three become a manager themselves. And when that happens, you're now going to get promoted to a senior manager. That means you've personally enrolled three different people, a minimum of three different people, and helped each one of those three people become a manager. When you've personally enrolled three different people that have become a manager, you become a senior manager. You are now going to get paid seven levels deep of all of the swipes that occur within your community. 
You're going to get still get paid every time that there's a new manager. When they develop in that week, you're going to get paid a $50 a manager development grant that's paid up 10 levels every week. You now get a pay increase again. Now we're going to pay you $7 every month for every new for every manager every manager in your system 7 levels deep. You've also qualify now for what's called a matching leadership bonus. I love this bonus. This bonus is there to incentivize you to don't stop at 3, don't stop at 6, don't stop at 9. Continue to go wide. If somebody goes, John, should I, should I go wide or should I go deep? And the answer is yes. The, you, you, want, you want to be able to do both. You go width for income, depth for security. You want to be doing a combination of the two all the time, right? You don't want to fall into management mode because, oh, I've got my three and I'm helping them. But what if one of those three just don't want to move at your pace and they're slowing you down to become a senior manager? You want to go and roll four or five or six, quite honestly, because maybe three of them want to run at the pace that you want to run at. The other three will come along or somebody on your second level, they just don't want to run at the pace that, that you want to run. You need to then go help work down in your group and helping them to become a manager, helping them to become a senior manager. So you're working in depth within your group. But don't, re don't rely upon just your original three that you get. Because you know what? Many times you're going to be a little disheartened. They're not going to run a run at the pace that you want to go run at if you want to run fast, right? So don't stop at three. Get yourself five or six. I like what Dustin did, right? Dustin came in, immediately got nine, put nine in play. Boom. There you go. And now he's building down, down through those nine, okay? You got somebody like, like Eric. Eric went to nine and he goes, why am I stopping to nine? Eric's like at 20 or something like that now, right? He's got, because he's building all these, all these different legs, these people that are coming in, because some are going to, are, are going to grow faster than others. And it's a race. You want to get, you want to get promoted through the system. So this matching bonus goes like this. Say, for example, uh, you enroll me and say, I've got 25 managers in, in my, in my, in my community, I've got 25 managers. And say, for example, I'm earning $7 a month for each one of those managers. So a matching bonus is everybody that you have personally enrolled, whatever their leadership bonus is, we're going to pay you dollar for dollar. So in that example, if I had 25 managers in my group and I was making $7 each, I was getting I'm getting paid $175 for my for my my leadership bonus. The company is going to pay you $175 for your matching leadership bonus. Then we're going to add up all of the managers that are involved in your community to the depth that you can earn in this example 7 levels deep and we're going to pay you $7 for all of the managers. Or let me show you another way. Say you enrolled five people and each one of the five have 100 managers in their group and say they're getting paid $7 for each manager. Well, seven times, you know, what is, what is, you know, seven times 100 is $700. You earn $700 for the, from that and a matching bonus. But if you enrolled five people, they each had 100 managers in their group and they were earning $7 in leadership, you just now earn $3,500 for that month just in your matching bonus. Then we're going to add up how many total managers do you have in your group because you're going to earn your own respective leadership bonus. Oh, and don't forget, you're going to get paid uh, manager development grants every week when a new manager becomes, it, it's going to rise up and you're, you're going to get paid that money and you get paid money on all the swipes that you have within the system. Now, when you want to become a vice president, you need to have personally enrolled three people that are senior managers. If you enroll three people that are senior managers, you now get promoted to vice president. As a vice president, we're going to pay you now $8 leadership bonus for every single manager in your organ in your in your community, eight levels deep. You're also going to, you're also going to earn, you know. A matching bonus, anybody you've personally enrolled in all that and all, but your management grants will now reach eight levels deep 
within the system also. And don't forget, because Richard uh, gave us a promise, he showed us some people have seen this, and we're getting there's there's a group in there that are really close to vice president. When you become a vice president, you now get the green pig. We send the green pig out to everybody that becomes a vice president within the system. Remember that little piggy video that we have? So pretty soon we're gonna have lots of green pigs that are going out to everybody. You will get one of those when you once you become a vice president within the system itself. I thought that was really cool how he put that together um, and found that that green pig and and actually put that out there. Very cool. So you're an earning eight levels deep. Now. To become a senior vice president, you need to have enrolled six. So understand, everything has been going three. You need three people as a manager to become a senior manager. You need three personally enrolled senior managers to become a vice president. Now, all of a sudden, to become a senior vice president, you need six legs of people that have become a vice president. So there's two things you can go. You can keep your three and build it, build it, build it. And all of a sudden, you become a vice president. And now you got to go start all over again trying to build another three. Why not just start with, start with three, get them to manager, enroll two or three more, still work with those managers to be, help them become a senior manager, but work with those, with those new people that you enroll to get them to manager and help them become a senior manager. You want to have six or nine legs going pretty quick within the system, not all at once because your time is spent, most of your time is spent with the newer people, the people that are keeping you busy. But so to become a senior vice president, you need six different people that you personally enrolled that have become a vice president in the system. And when you do that, you're going to get paid nine levels deep of all of people swiping the cards, all of the DBOs and their entire branch that they've built, all their TCMs. All added together, you get paid uh, on the swipe. You're still going now. You're going to get paid a fifty dollars management development grant, nine levels deep. We're going to pay you nine, and a, we're going to pay you a nine dollar leadership bonus, not eight. So now you're going to earn more money on a larger group of managers in the system, right within that. And as you continue to enroll new dbos in the system and they and they um begin to earn a leadership bonus when they become a manager that adds to the, your your matching leadership bonus you always want to be adding to that leader matching leadership bonus in, within the system itself and then finally to become a president you need to have personally enrolled nine people that have reached the rank of vice president you enroll nine people that reach the rank of not vice president. Um, you now become a president in the company. We're going to pay you 10 levels deep. So you're going to earn income on all the swipes of the cards, 10 levels deep of all those DBOs and, and, their, and, their, and all their communities. You're going to earn a $50 manager development grant, 10 levels deep. You're going to earn now earn a $10 leadership bonus, not nine, right? and you still have your matching bonus. So what are the different ways that you're paid within the system? You're paid every time that somebody swipes the card. You're paid a one-time rebate that you get that money back when you become a manager, okay? You're gonna earn a manager development grant every time a new manager qualifies that um, on a weekly basis up to the number of levels deep that you qualify for you're going to get paid that $50 that's going to get paid to you weekly. You also qualify for a leadership bonus. All of the managers every month is all added up, and you can earn between $6 to $10 per month of all of the managers with, within your community down, you know, from you on down. And then you can earn a matching leadership bonus. As you continue to enroll new people into the business, when they become a manager, and they begin to earn a leadership bonus, you get paid dollar for dollar, whatever, whatever their leadership bonus is, you're going to get paid a leadership bonus, right? So that's why, for example, Dustin, he went nine. He's earning a leadership bonus on nine people now. Um, Eric went something like 20 or something. You know, when they become a manager, he's earning income on 20 different, you know, 20 matching leadership bonuses. It's just more money for doing the same thing, right? So it's more money for doing the same thing. 
So you can promote up into the system itself to all the different ranks. Now, what are you paid every time somebody swipes the card? Okay. This is really interesting how Richard and uh, Troy Mulstein, the two of them are really the, the two people who put much of, much of the plan together. It's a, it's a brilliant plan. I love how it comes together. When you become a DBO, okay, when you become a DBO, you're going to earn five basis points on everybody with everybody that you that you in in your personal customer group. Except anybody that you personally sponsor. Who do you personally sponsor? If you personally sponsor a TCM. Or if you personally sponsor a DBL, those are the only two things that you can personally sponsor, right? Anybody that you personally sponsor, we're going to pay you twice as much in swipes versus everybody else within your community. Let me give you an example. You become a DB. So in this example right here, you're, you're a DBO and you enroll BEV. And Bev does $1,500. Bev's a TCM. She does $1,500 for the month. We're going to pay you, well, as a DBO, you can earn five basis points. But on your personal TCMs, we're going to double it. So now, so you're getting paid 10. Even it says five here, we're going to double it. You're going to get paid 10 right here on whatever Bev does because Bev Personally sponsored TCMs, you get paid 10 basis points on. If we give you a customer, so all those customers, all those TCMs from the influencers, when we begin to pass them out, if you're a DBO, you will earn five basis points on all of those corporately assigned TCMs. On any of the of the community sponsor, that, that means anybody who's a TCM on your second level, your third level, your fourth level, your fifth level, because you're going to earn five levels deep as a DBO, you will be paid five basis points on all of the TCMs down five levels. Because you personally enrolled a DBO, and they're on your first level because you personally enrolled them. We're going to pay you 10 basis points, whatever that DBO does on their swipe, on their Visa card every month. So again, you earn double. You earn 10 basis points on all of your personally sponsored. You earn 10 basis points on all your personally sponsored DBOs as well as your TCMs. But then a DBO on your second level, your third level, all the way down to your 10th level, you're going to make five basis points on. So anybody that you personally enroll, just just think of it this way: you get paid double. Everybody else is you're, you're gonna you're gonna get paid the normal. As the DBO, you get paid five basis points. When you get promoted to a manager, we're now gonna add. You're gonna earn now. You're gonna earn twelve basis points on all the personally sponsored TCMs. 12 basis points on all your personally sponsored DBOs. If we gave you a corporate assigned customer, a TCM from the influencers, you, you've gone from five basis points to six because you became a manager. You're getting a pay increase. All of the TCMs on your second, third, and fourth level, you know, in this example, down through six levels of DBOs, we're going to get, we're going to pay you not five, we're going to pay you six basis points on. And then any of the community sponsored DBOs, any any DBO on your second, third, fourth, or fifth level, you were in six. Anybody, any DBO that you personally enroll, you're going to get paid 12. You're going to get paid double because you personally enrolled the DBO because you personally enrolled a TCM. We're going to pay you double. Okay. When you become a senior manager, we're going to give you an increase again. Now you're going to go from 12 basis points to 14 basis points on all of your personally enrolled TCMs. 
You go from six to seven on your corporate assigned TCMs that we've given you personally, on all of the, everybody who's a, a TCM on your second level on down through the system, you, we, you've gone from six to seven. There's that personally sponsored again, your personally sponsored DBO. You get paid 14 basis points on what they do, but on all of their customers that they have personally enrolled, you're going to earn seven on, okay? You're going to earn seven on them, but you're going to earn 14 because you on the one DBO because you personally sponsored them. And then community sponsored DBOs, level two and everything else all the way down, you're going to earn seven basis points on. Same thing happens again. You become a vice president within the system again. Guess what? You go from 14 to 16 basis points. Congratulations. You go from seven to eight on all of your corporate assigned TCMs. You go from seven to eight on your corporate, on your community sponsored, all your TCMs on your second level on down to the depth that you can earn, you're earning eight basis points on versus seven. You're getting 16 basis points on all those personally sponsored DBOs with all the swipes they do on their card. And also all of the uh, DBOs on your second level on down that you can earn income on you're going to earn eight basis points on all those AD, DBOs, right? So what happens is that again, when you get when you get promoted to senior vice president, well, it makes sense. Now you go up from sixteen to eighteen. You go from eight to nine. You go from eight to nine. You go from sixteen to eighteen, and you go from eight to nine. You're getting paid more money for doing the same thing. We're going to, every time that you rank, that you're promoted to a new rank in the in the in the company. We're going to give you an increase on the income that you can earn on all the swipes that people are doing. And as a president, now everybody, all the all the person, all the TCMs that you personally enrolled, you're now earning 20 basis points on all your personally sponsored TCMs in your in your customer group. You're going to earn 10 basis points on all of the corporate assigned TCMs that we've given you. You're going to earn 10 on all the TCMs from your second level on down. And in this example, 10 levels deep within of, of, all, of all DBOs in their communities, you're going to earn 10 basis points on all those TCMs. Every DBO that you personally enrolled, we're going to pay you 20 basis points because you personally enrolled them. Remember, if you personally enrolled, you get paid double. And then as a DBO, Community sponsor this any 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 DBO in your second, third, all the way down to your 10th level, we're going to pay you 10 basis points on. You've got an increase from nine to 10. So this document, when you look at it, read it over and over and over again. It's available um on the um uh digital Eric or Andy, what is that called? I apologize. Digital, dig, you know, you can um digital branch builder. This is the digital compensation. Point. Digital, Digital Branch Builder. Thank you, Vaughn. Digital Branch Builder. And this is under the compensation plan. You can print this out. This, this is there. So remember, so now to go back, now this makes more sense. Then all the DBOs in your group, you're going to earn five. But if it's personally sponsored, you're going to earn 10. That's why Bev, in this example, you're earning 10 basis points on. You personally sponsored Aunt B, you're making 10 basis points. You personally enrolled Stephen, you're making 10 basis points. Here's Carl. Carl is corporately assigned. Corporately assigned, you're earning five basis points on, like we talked about just a moment ago. Because it's right. So now, as a, when you get promoted to a manager, now you're going to get paid 12 basis points here. You're going to get paid from five to six basis points here because you went up. You 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 went you went up right as well as the same thing within every all the other DBOs within your community. The more high, the more that you rank up, the more you you're, you're going to earn and under each under each rank, right? It shows it as a DBO. This is what you're paid on all the TCMs and the DBOs right here. And then when you become a manager, it shows right here. Here's what you earn as a manager. So everything is written down for you. You can look at, you can understand it. It's all right there. You may need to go through this three or four times to kind of really grasp it, to really understand it. Okay. Now, there's one more thing that I want that I I want to share with you, real quick here, 
is that, let me make sure I have it here. Yeah, I have it. Okay. So I'm going to show you a couple of, of income scenarios. And these in scenarios is not, I'm not telling you what's going to happen, but there are two assumptions that I've, that I've made. Number one, every, every, every DBO and every TCM is, is putting $1,500 a month on their visa. Okay. So we, so we defaulted down to 1500 which in 2022 is less than half of what the average household did in America between their debit card and their, and their credit card. Okay. So rather than saying, you know, the average, I think Google said it was $3,200 a month in 2022, the average household spent on debit and credit card. We said, okay, in this example, I'm giving you we're only going to do fifteen hundred, like the example on the slides that you saw earlier, going through the comp plan. Number two, we're going to assume that every DBO that I'm going to show you has ten customers. On average, they have ten customers. Okay, so they may enroll three or four, their two or three their first month, and then their second month they may maybe enroll one or two more. But so those existing companies, maybe they referred two or three people. You were given three or four or five or more corporately assigned customers. You can have way more than 10, and I believe it's going to be way more. But I said, to be conservative, each one of the DBOs that I'm going to show you only has 10 customers, only has 10 TCMs. So try to keep it conservative. If, if you think it's going to be more, you, then you can, you can add to this as, as you want to be able to add. Okay? So those are the two assumptions. $1,500 on all the swipes, and each DBO has 10, has, has 10 TCMs, okay? So when we go through this, I've only taken this down in this example, okay? So if you personally enroll three people and help them to become a manager, that's all. You help them become a manager. That means you got a manager on your first level, on your second level, you've got each one of those managers have three TCM or have three DBOs. That's it. Assume that those managers on your second level did not enroll any other DBOs. Just it, it stopped. But that each one of your DBOs has 10 customers. In this example, if you enroll three people that become a manager, your monthly income is $168 a month. You already surpassed the... 150 that it takes to be active within the business each month. Focus on getting three people to become a manager, right? And each one of them have, have you know, 10 customers, you know, each, each one of the DBOs. It, you're going to be there before you know it within the system itself. And by the way, um, you're paid, you know, as, as the as, if you enroll three people that are manager, you're a senior manager, you're, you're getting paid seven levels deep. In this example, I'm only showing you what you're going to earn, you know, down just a couple levels here, right? Take, take a look at this. The power of three. Um, say, for example, you you have three, you enroll, you have, you have three managers on your front level. Those three each enroll three who enroll three. So three levels deep of managers in your group. That's it. And you can get paid as many as 10 levels deep, by the way, but just three levels deep. Your income is about twenty three hundred dollars a month. Say you enrolled four managers and help each one of those four get four who get four, and you stop at three levels. We're going to pay you as many as ten deep. So this income example, you know, don't forget, um, you're capped. You can you can earn no more than two million dollars a month. I know that's like a number that's like behemoth to a lot of people. It's like there just is no way. But you want to add these numbers up in a conservative route and take it down to 10 levels, you'll see it's way more than $2 million a month. We cap it at $2 million a month of, of, of what you can earn. But the power of, because you enrolled one more person, you rather than stopping at three, you went to four. Because of that, your income went to $5,400 a month versus about 23. Look at the end, look how much more income you earn because you chose to enroll one more and teach everybody else just to do one more, right? And I'm going to show you this here. 
when you take a look at at five, you enroll five people that are managers. That's it. And then help those five enroll five managers and so on and so forth. And it stops after three levels. At three levels, you've got 155 managers in your group. It's actually more than that because, you know, some of the people will be a senior manager. You'll have, you'll have, some, you'll have some vice presidents in there. But your income is almost $10,000 a month right now. We're going to pay you 10 levels deep. But in this example, it's only three. And every person is only doing $1,500 a month on swipes. And each, T and each DBO only has 10 customers. Only has 10. You can put your own numbers to it if you want to and grow it, and the numbers really begin to take off. And then one more example, okay, well, you need to have six to become a senior vice president, so why wouldn't you go to six? If you went to six, right, six managers on, on your front on your front level, and they hit you up, second level get, get six, and third level get six, your income's over $18,000 for the month. If I took it down five levels, the numbers go off the chart. So by the way, you're, you can earn as many as 10. Do you get it? The numbers in this thing are humongous. They're very, very large. And one more thing, right? When you take a look at this, every time that you develop a manager in your community, in this example, you're making each manager is worth $71 per month residual income. Now, when I say residual income, what's the income coming from? Well, it's coming from People swiping their cards, going to the grocery store, going to Home Depot, buying something somewhere else, going to the movies. There's no, okay, I got to go buy my face cream. I got to go buy, buy my vitamins again. I got to go buy my, no, you do what you normally do. I'm not going to teach you to do anything different. But through a normal pattern of what your buying pattern is, you've developed a residual income of every manager at $71 a month. How many managers do you want to have in your system geometrically? Because in this example, you've only enrolled six, but on your third level, you've got, you know, a total at three levels, you got 258. Well, you carry it down another level, you're over a thousand. This income goes off the charts. This is all viable. It is real. It is real stuff that happens. Some of you are like numbered out right now. Some of you are like, I, I got it. John, I, I, I got just a couple of quick questions and we can answer them for you. For those people who want to stay on the call, I'm happy to stay as, as long as we need. If some of you need to leave, I totally understand that. I know Eric had to jump off in the car. He's driving to the, to the baseball tournament. But listen, listen to what I, what I shared here, you know, one time, two times, three times to kind of make, make it come through. Again, the, what's the most important thing? Help somebody to become a manager when you because it's all about your leadership bonus is what you're paid on managers if you teach that to your people you're, you're developing managers when you develop somebody into a manager they get their 500 dollars rebate now they're flush psychologically they're in a really really good place right oh by the way everybody that you personally enroll um and you make you make the um um uh, the uh, matching leadership bonus, matching leadership bonus is paid on what? Managers. Managers will naturally become senior managers, will naturally become vice presidents and so on and so forth. It's a natural progression. Go to, go to the most easiest, simple point, enrolling somebody, helping them get their three. When they got their three, you're a manager. Help those three get their three, right? Now, the, when you enroll somebody, now the work begins. You're working with them to help them. You know, you teach, you know, you enroll, you teach Susan how to, you teach Susan to teach Bob how to sponsor Grace. If I was to enroll you, I get you three wide and three deep before I even, before I ever leave you alone. If I get you three wide and three deep, I got you anchored. You don't want to be running wide until you get three wide and three deep, right? And if somebody here, if they, if they just don't, want to you know work with you now some of you maybe are spending two or three hours a week or four that's great some of you are spending 25 that's great you put in what you can it's not you don't have to have to go do anything but the time that you're that, that you're in make it productive time the most productive time is working with people in your group because geometrically that's where the numbers are right so you, you now all of a sudden you get you know you know for example Braden I think Braden is around I'm going to take a guess here, Braden, but I think the number is maybe around 70 people in your group right now. 
He's got 70 people that are DBOs and above, 70 people out working the business and enrolling DBOs versus just him, one, right? So you want the, you want the, the, the numbers behind you. You want, you want that leverage. You want, you want other people that are working on your behalf, right? They, you know, that old saying of, you know, I'd rather earn 1% of 100 people's efforts than 100% of my own efforts, right? You want to be able to have as many people as you can work in the system. But you got to get people locked in. They got to feel good. So if all you focus on is developing managers, that's 80% of this compensation plan. You will just go as far as you want to go if all you do is, is develop managers and help your people to develop a manager. It could be that first night. It could be a week. It could be a month. There's no race to be able to get there. Some people just can't put the time into it, right? Some people, that phone weight weighs 400,000 pounds to pick it up their first time and make that phone call, right? Well, talk with them, coach them, be with them. And if they want to pick up that phone, you probably need to go find someone else to go spend your time. You're still going to be there, right? But you got to you got to go f- f- find that the work, spend your time with the people who want you to spend time with them, right? So just don't come in at three and way down on the three and kind of kind of you know think that you're done. You know you want to you want to continue to go. You want to continue to build it out. So uh, Chris, you got your hand up. Go ahead and 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 I'm going to run over in, into the chats also. Those of you that, that want to stay, I'm, again, I'm happy to answer the questions. Those of you that need to go, I certainly understand. We're going to record this thing to the end and we'll go post it up on um, on Telegram. But uh, Chris, feel free to ask your question, bud. Okay. When you uh, when you have your own personally sponsored person, yep. they, they bring in another customer, like a referral. You're getting... So, so yes. it's, Chris, do me a favor. Do you have, so when you say... Personally sponsored person is it a personally okay. well, sponsored let's, TCM let's or go personally with a, sponsored Let's DBA? go with that. Well, it's a, like a TCM. Okay. Yeah, a customer. They go sponsor a person as far as like they get another customer to come in. You're sure. getting those those 10 basis points off of each of those people or 12. That's a DBA, correct. Yeah, or, or 12 is if you're a manager. That's correct. Now, it, for the managers that you bring in, those personally sponsored managers, You'd be okay. getting like twelve basis points off that person. Yes, the customers that the customers that that person brings in, you you're get twelve bring, off of those. Or is that just you're a, making six. So yeah, remember, so you're you making paid, six. Yeah, so you anybody that you personally enroll, you get double. Personally enrolled customers in that example, mm-hmm. you were getting paid. Tw- if you're a manager, you're getting paid twelve basis points on all your personal customers, right? And by the way. If a personal customer refers somebody, you still you get paid 12 basis points on that referral too, by the way. Okay. And any and, it, and because you personally enrolled a DBO, you're going to get paid 12 basis points on that DBO. But all the customers that, that that DBO brought in, are you the personal sponsor of those TCMs? No. So because you're not, you're going to get paid six basis points. You went from five to okay. six because you're a manager. So it just changes when you get a DBO versus a customer. Yes, sir. Right. Yeah. Okay. Personally sponsored versus community sponsored. Okay. Thank you. You're more than welcome. You're more than welcome. Um, Do me a favor. If you've got it, I think it's easier rather than trying to read through the chats, you know, raise your hand. If you go down to the bottom, there's a thing that's called, called reactions. Click it and you can raise your hand. We'll go through those people that have, that have questions. Um, Bullard, go ahead. Is that a question on the training for Tuesdays and Thursdays? Do you know when there will be a professionally done video to share with people compared to a um, recorded Zoom call? Yes, it it's going to be um, okay. So I'm sorry, you want a, a professionally done training on the comp plan, or you want a more professional uh, uh, video of the of the actual business overview, the business presentation? The business presentation. The business presentation. Um, that will, it, it's, it's going to be after May 20th. Okay. Um, and let me give you a reason, a reason why. Well, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to hint to something. There is a significant comp plan announcement on May 20th. That's going to blow all your minds. 
does it make sense to do a video when the, when it's when it's when it's going to change? It doesn't change on how you build your business. It doesn't change on TC. It's just like your your ability to run at this business became like three x easier. And I think I think your business will grow um, at a at a at a two or three x um, be better velocity just because of it. And it's an enhancement to the compensation plan. I mean, it's just like. I've, I've almost, wa I've wanted to tell so many different, I, I just can't, I just can't. Cause there's three people inside the whole company who know, who knows what it is right now. And, That's really uh, exciting. Uh, I'm dude. If you, if you knew, and I got goosebumps, I mean, I'm, I'm telling <laughs> you, it, it's like lights out. It's lights out. It's yeah, lights I out. can't wait just to have the opportunity to bring on members. Oh, it's dude. You ain't seen nothing yet with this announcement and with what we have. It's like, and, and then also on the 20th, you know, the Z club is going to be up. Yeah. Cause so I think like it's going to be a lot easier for some people to first come on as a member and then go from member to a DBO compared to just jumping in as a DBO. Cause some people just need to see it before they can believe it. They, they do. Well, yeah. So th that's what happens where people can become a DBO now when we have the, that 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 program in place with all of the influencers giving away customers. We want to reward those of you that are in on this because you're here. We want to find a way to reward you because there's some belief on your end. Absolutely, there's belief on your end, right? Um, and so um, we want to make sure that you know we want to reward you when the so so when when the easiest sale in the history of sales is going to be when the Z Club is up and you go talk to somebody and say, look it, here's my Visa Bank card. You go on the app. You say, "Look at here's here's all all the transactions." I, I went to the gas station and I bought seventy in gas, and I got seventy Z bucks. And I went to Costco and I went to the grocery store, and you show them all this, and then you sign into the Z Club and you say, "Now here's all these products." So by the way, let me show you. these are the products that I recently bought. So you're going to go up to most recently bought products now, right? And you're going to show all the things that you bought. Here's the price that they're paying. Here's the Z bucks you used. Here's the price that you paid. You show right in front of them how you're saving money, how you use the card. It, it's like a no-brainer. Where do I sign up? How do I enroll? I think yeah. people will come in at a much faster pace at DBO. Um, and those people, they just for whatever reason, they don't want to become a DBO, which is great. At a, at a faster velocity, um, TCMs will come on board too, for sure. Oh, 100%. So starting May 22nd, is that founding going to be over with, the founding DBOs, or is it's still going to continue on to the 5,000 mark. We're, we're still going to run some promotions and, and there's some, we've got some promotions to announce also. Um, we're probably, you're, you're, you're still going to see um, going after May 20, the, uh, the founding DBO component will still be going on. Also we'll announce on the 20th, how long that's going to go for, but that's, that will be after the 20th. It is still going on. So you'll be able to utilize all these really cool new announcements and you've got that promotion still going on too. And that's incredible, John. Yeah. Thank, thank you. you. Yep, for sure. Um, Nosh, please. Nosh Sorensen. Nosh, you have, you have your hand up. You have a question, Nosh? Or you're, you're on mute. You need to unmute yourself. All right, can you hear me? Yes, sir. Yeah, it's uh, it's Noah Sorensen. I don't know. I must have spelled it wrong somewhere. Oh, okay. No, no. Okay, Noah, no problem. Um, Sorry. My, uh, no. my question is, uh, are, are, are there any limitations of how we can uh, spread this word and recruit people? Like, I'm curious about social media, YouTube, putting a presentation in our own words and such. Yeah, so you can, you know, yeah, so you, anything that you, anything that you go put out there, you need to, you need to, um, stay within the limits of, 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 what we've, of what we've already produced. Okay. So if you go into your, your, um, Vaughn, give me your help, bud, digital, digital brand. If you go into your digital branch, there's on, under, under marketing in there, you've got there, there's some artwork that you can have that has the, um, the company logo. You can go create something and put a company logo on it. And you can put it out there on social media. You can't be making any income claims whatsoever, none, zero income claims. You can't show copies of a check. You can't show, here's the house I bought, here's the car I bought, here's the jewelry I just got. None of those things can be done from a, you know showing 
you know, how you're doing financially and what you're doing. And that's like a big, big, no, 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 no. You can't do okay. those things. You stay in alignment to what, what we have with, you know, when you, when there's the presentation deck and you stay in alignment with what, with that. Yes. You can go out into social media and you can begin to do those things. I do have, um, I've got a full compliance team coming on board and they're going to be scouring um, social media um, and we're, we're, I'm just going to let you know, we're not going to be nice. If people are putting bad things out there, you're going to get reprimanded and maybe even terminated. We're not going to go deal with people that are putting stuff out there that is not true. And that's for all of our benefit, by the way, because we don't want one person to go ruin something that, that could affect all of us. And as I say that with, 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 with love in my heart, we just all want to be, we all want to do the right thing. And it's better to be conservative than it is being aggressive because the reason is our truth is good enough. Our truth is better than what anybody else has out there in the marketplace, especially with the Z club and especially with this new announcement on the 20th concerning the comp plan. Don, should we tell them where to find the uh, resource? Yes. When you log in to my TZT and you have, you have to do your, your name and password It'll take you right into the the screen that shows usually a lot of fine print, and then the I accept or not. Well, in the yeah, upper here, part in, of that, in, you'll in see fact, Juan, here, I'm just gonna, yeah, Van, I'm going I'm to yeah, do this. Go ahead, and show it. Really good idea. Yeah, yeah really good okay. idea. So you're going to go to go to go to my uh, tzt.com. This is this is your site, right? Then you want to go yep. to sign in. Like you're going to sign in as normal. You're logging in, and the first page you get to, we're so quickly to say accept and move forward. So pause on this stage, on this on this page. All right. If you need your own personal referral link that you that you created, just click this right here, and you'll get it. If you click Digital Branch Builder, you see that where it says here. Yeah. Click Digital Branch Builder. This now comes up, and we're continuing to add to this. Right. Here's the here's the business overview right here. Right, it is okay. the it's, it's the slide deck. Here's the comp plan that we just reviewed, the hard copy of the comp plan, right here. Right, here's a media okay. library with um, a bunch of the um, um, branding that that we talked about. Here's the DBO meeting schedule: Tuesday, Thursday at one, and at seven p.m. we do business overviews, and two o'clock on Mondays we do corporate information updates, and Saturday we do the trainings at ten thirty. Right, um, here is. Um, Transact card. Oh, this was a. I need. I need to change what this is. This was a. Um, it was an update. It was a corporate update. We need corporate to get a new update. one on it's, this. It's, Correct. it's really good with Peter and Richard and a lot of saying a lot of things and how we're not bankers and some yeah. of the cautions and answers Noah's question. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but it, some of it's out of date because there's always going to be out of date for the next few months because we're always announcing new things. Um, then here's the, you know, if, um, um, if, you know, if you want to know how, how the, how the match is, remember the match we show in the slide, in the slide program, if you're a DBO, you get a two to one, a manager, you get five to one, this click this, it explains it. Then if you have any questions whatsoever, you know, teach your people how to get to this site, because when they've got questions, the best thing they, they can do is they can go to member support. Every question that people have, we give a trouble ticket, we document, we try to get back to everybody within 24 hours. It helps us to understand the kinds of questions people have and what it is. Go to member support, fill it out, we'll get back to you within 24 hours. But here's your any question you have about anything, it's, it's in member support. Click that and you're given a link to go to, to fill something out and to be able to, to send it in. But, um, awesome. Yvonne, thank you. Great idea. Thank you. Thank, thank you, Noah. Joshua has a question. Yeah, I met Joshua the other night on a call with a group of people. Joshua, you were really impressive the other night, by the way. Nice to meet you. Hey, nice to meet you too, John. Thanks for your time. Uh, just a quick question going back to the comp plan. Because uh, we talked about referrals with our personal TCMs. Uh, we also talked about when they refer somebody, they also fall in line with our personal TCMs. Um, corporately assigned individuals then to us, when they refer somebody, are they still considered a corporate uh, assigned person or they then become a, a personal sponsored TCM? 
No, they're they're still a they're still a a, a corporately they're still a corporate assigned TCM. You'll still earn five up to ten basis points on them. Okay, and when you're given those customers, um, you have no responsibility with them. You won't know their names, their location, their contact information. There's a whole different group of people that if they have a question that pay attention to, because we're also paying money out to the influencer. And um, like, so for example, in the example, one of the groups that we, we've talked about is make a wish foundation. So make in, in that example, that influencer that's sending out for cards right now, there's over 5 million followers just in the make a wish foundation. The, all of the customers that come on board, the influencer makes money on the swipe. We also pay money to make a wish foundation, so that's a little more expensive. So we 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 end up paying you, you know, what you would earn on everybody within your community. We're still giving you a full pay of what normally would be within the community itself, but we're not we're not paying you double because we've given you that. And there's other costs that are associated with it. That makes sense. Sure, that makes sense. But then, what if like one of those corporately assigned people refer somebody to get the card? Does that referred person fall underneath your line, and is that a yeah, that Just still falls way. underneath your line, but you're still paid the five to ten basis points. Got it. Okay, thanks. Yeah. But 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 that 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 automatically goes to you. You inherit that those also correct. Good question. Good question, Susan. Hello, hi John. How are you? Good. How are you today? I'm doing great. Awesome job. Thanks so much. Um, I just wanted to let you know that um, I, I noticed this yesterday. You just went over it on that front page when we log in, when that first tab where you mentioned you can tap there and it will go to your link. It is not working, at least not working for me. When I go there, it just takes me to like a generic page. And when I hit digital branches, then it has like a jot form to fill out. So it isn't linking directly to my personal page. So I, should Got I support, should Got I send it. in a certificate for you or? Uh, what yeah, do I me a favor. Yeah, send that send that into in into customer service if if you would please. Okay, Perfect. send it into customer service if you would. I would, would greatly appreciate that uh, for me. So let me, yep. let me, let me, so I'm, I'm going to, but I, so I'm, I'm going to, but based on what you said, I'm going to, I'm going to do something here. So we were all just on this page right here, right? Right. And, and Susan was talking about when you click transact card to get your referral link, it takes you right back out to, out to the front again. Let me show you how to get your, how to get to your referral link. If you ever need to get to it, like if that happens or something like that. So to normally sign into your back office, you would click, I accept. Okay, and so now you're entering in into your back office. And by the way, you need if you've got a VPN. To main menu. Right. And, and you go to um, you froze up there, John. You know, can yeah, you guys? We lost your sound. Am I back? Yes, you're fine. Okay. All right. So when you go to main menu and click my profile, right here, click my my profile, and you you and you you run across where it says personal information. You know, it says mailing address and all that. If you click replicated website, so I did that right here. So mine is johnmckellop.mytz.com. So I don't ever use mine because I'm not a DBO. At any time, you can go in here and you can change the name. You can change your, your replicated website name at any time. And if it's already in use, it'll tell you that it's already in use, that you can't use it. If it, if it doesn't say stop, you know, you can move forward and save it, move on. And that's your new replicated website URL. You with me? So at any time, you know, go into the back office and play around back here. There's, there's some really great tools as we really load this up. And and by the way, don't pay attention to where it says Z Club here right now. We we put a couple of products in there just because we we were putting um, some some things together. We needed we needed to have that in play. Testing the software. The real, yeah, that's not the real Z Club, by the way. So yeah, just you know, ignore that right now. But 
that's how you're, you're, able, you're able to do that. Just you go on your replicated website off of your uh, my profile. Okay, so uh, you're able to get there that way. Be able to do it from that standpoint. Okay, Karen. Hey, young lady. Well, hello. Hey, I just wanted to have you address a question that was in the chat from somebody okay. uh, back when you were going over the comp plan, yep. and they wanted to know if things will go retroactive in payouts as they position up. No, they're not. They're I'm, I'm yeah, they're 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 in there. They're you know we're doing stuff with that stuff. Um, once we go live in the comp plan, then from that point forward, all the swipes and all that accrual and all of those things will. It'll, it'll, it'll be that that's what I was told by, by Richard not too long ago. So from that point forward, but we're also going to do is this because all of you in that are in the system that are DBOs. And then when you begin to enroll TCMs and we're going to, we're going to say how long there's a promotion, all of you are, you know, everybody and you're the new people coming on board, you're going to get paid a double Z bucks your first year. But what we're going to do, some of you may have been in since like, um, November, October. like late October. <laughs> so your start date on the double Z box would start like on June 1st. From June 1st next year forward, your 12 months now starts on your double Z box. Whether they're going to go back and double the Z box that are in the system again, I think they're going to. Let me come back to you all with all that if I, if I can. But going forward, you're going to get a fresh 12 months. Plus all the Z bucks you've accrued is still going to roll forward also you may even get double Z-Box and all the stuff that you've accrued. Let me go find out about that also, if I may. Okay. Yeah. And I think, I think what the guy was asking was, will the management bonuses be retroactive? My understanding no. is that is not true. It's just wherever no. you are, as you um, continue moving mm -hmm. forward, you get whatever you are eligible for at that well, point. Uh, right. We've been paying. Just wanted to make sure people knew that was clear. Yeah. Great question. We've been paying the rebates out, as everybody knows. We've been paying out the management grants, as, as everybody knows, but there are some components of the comp plan. We're not charging 150 per month to be active. We're not doing any of those things. When all of the customers come into play, when we begin to drop all those in the system and you can enroll these TCMs and doing all of those things, um, all that stuff goes live and then, then we'll be able to pay all those kinds of different details. But uh, thank you for, for putting that out there, Karen. I really appreciate it very you much. Bet. Thank you. Thank you. Victor, you have a question, bud. I do. And Karen, by the way, that was that was my question that you were clarifying for me. Thank you for that. Oh, good. Uh, good. And just since we're on the subject, this was this was something that I, I was I think was more at the core of what I was asking. So let's and this isn't my question that I put my hand up for. So okay. <laughs> if I can ask the second one. But the first one is uh as a as a DBO, and I personally enroll a customer, a TCM. Okay. I'll be earning 5%, but really not 5%, but five basis points, but really double that because it's my personally person that sponsor. Is, that is correct. Then I become a manager later that week. That customer's swiping. I'm making 10 basis points each time. When I become a manager and that customer swipes again after I become a manager, will all those swipes be at 12% or will they remain at 10%? 10, yes. I'm saying yes. 10%, so, but you know what I mean? 10 basis points. I do. Yeah. So say, for example, you join the, the second week of the month and, and you're a DBO and you're making 10 basis points. And say by the end of the calendar month, you're a manager. You're earning 12 basis points, right? At the end of the calendar month, because you're a manager, mm -hmm. we take all the volume for the month and we'll pay you 12 basis points on the entire month. Oh, great. We're not going to say, oh, because no, we're going to recognize your promotion weekly because we're going to pay out a management, we're going to pay out the, the manager grant, we're going to pay out the rebate, but promotions that, that, that that occur monthly, you know, when you kind of go from one to the other. So at the end of the calendar month, in that example, you're going to get paid 12 basis points on all that volume, not the 10 up to here. And then from that point, we give you, we're, make it, we're just going to give you 12 on the whole thing. We're going to keep it simple. Great, great, great. You actually, that's actually even more generous than what I was wondering about. So <laughs> I, I'm, 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 I, yeah, I mean, we're really that's trying great. to really incentivize and make it simple for people and give, give benefit of the doubt. Thanks. But once you get to the 12, then you're at 12 and moving up on all the swipes that happen in your, in your. That, that's fantastic. Cool. Now here's my actual question. Thank you for that, by the way. And thank you, Karen, for bringing up my question. Um, if you can talk a little bit more about the Z club, which I know is still in development and all that's working out, but 
like the practicality of where we can, we can, you know, people can spend their Z bucks. I know we've talked about, you can buy diaper, you can buy this, you can buy that. But a lot of the things that we're looking at is like, I can only own so many Ray-Ban sunglasses or go on so many cruises. So are there things that people can, everyday items that people will be able to buy? And, you know, are we going to be looking to rival Amazon's? Yeah. You know what? So I have not asked that question in that way. Allow me to go back to uh, Richard because that, that that's more Richard's area. Let me come back to everybody on Monday and I'll leave an announcement on, on Telegram. That's a really, really good question. My, my gut tells me is that as we get all kinds of deals, we want to go put those things out there. It's not just, oh, hey, we got Louis Vuitton purses and Rolexes this week. And then we got a cruise. And then we got, you know, we're, we're going to give away, you know, here's a car or whatever it might be. It, it, the, my understanding is that it's, it's also going to be if we get something that really, really great deals on and we can track, hey, people are buying a lot of these products that make sense to go put out there and do a flash sale on these. We'll align to whatever people's buying habits are. We'll, we'll do that. But let me come back to you with a more concrete answer. That's a really great question. And allow me to come back to you with that. Great. Thank you. But John, I think he was asking about just, he sounds like asking flash sales. Um, the Z Club's going to be hundreds and hundreds of thousands of what we, the retailers call SKUs. They're, they're just items, just everyday things. Yeah, but but, but 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 Victor, you were talking about those things were going to flash sale. Is it also going to be some everyday? No, no, I was talking about oh, flash sale. I, 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 I was talking about I was talking about practical everyday items yeah. that people can spend oh, the Z bucks yeah. on. Yeah, millions, millions of 50, things. Fifty thousand Z bucks, but there's nothing in the Z store that I really want or need right now. No. The, those Z bucks start to seem worthless, right? Yeah. But if, so but so if he, I'm yeah. like, hey, so, I need peanut yeah. butter. Can I get it here? Okay, great. Yeah. You know, things so, like that. Yeah. Oh, toilet paper. Oh, fantastic. Vaughn, so. And Vaughn, so Vaughn, thank you. You've got great hearing compared to me, and you, <laughs> when you, you assimilate your stuff. So, Victor, I apologize. So, for example, nothing perishable will be sold on the site. If it's if it's perishable, we're not going. Now, dry goods, cereal, chips. I mean, yeah, the answer is yes. Those kinds of things we're going to have, um, as well as huggies and you know, you know, Scotch tape. I mean. The, all those kind of practical things and really and cool things that you want to be able to have from Best Buy electronics, you know, power tools. Guys get all geeked out with power tools and you know all those kinds of things. You know, we're gonna have, we're have all we're gonna we're gonna have all the guy things. Women, you know, we're gonna have all all those things as well as practical things on the site. The way that Richard will share it. In fact, just happened on a call yesterday. Basically, everything anything that you go into into Amazon for to be able to buy, you're gonna be able to buy on this site also. So you can find it on Amazon. If you can find it out there in the marketplace, we're going to have it, have it within the site. That's a that's a great one line way of comparing it, right? And Richard yeah. is committed that when we launch the Z Club, there will, we will already have uploaded hundreds of thousands of SKUs on the initial launch of the Z Club, and then we continue to add to it pretty aggressively, so that you know it's not like oh, there's eight things, but it's coming. It's going to be there. It's you're going to be very happy with it. Karen has a great way of explaining that. You might want to ask her. Karen, go ahead and explain it to us. Yeah. So my take on this and what I share with people is you can get everything from groceries to trips and everything in between. And because you can save money on your grocery bill, then you'll be able to afford things like the jewelry and the trips. And very so... Nice. The only thing you won't be able to do is perishable items. You still have to go to the grocery store for your milk, bread, eggs, and produce. But anything else, we've got it. Cool. Very, very nice. Thank you, Karen. Hey, Scott. So, Josh, you're coming in a second. And uh, Fadi, you're, you're, you're next after Scott. Scott, go for it. Hey, John. Quick verification. After the uh, Founders Club is filled or closed... The people in the Founders Club can still advance uh, in rank. That is correct. Okay. Yeah. So let me just give you an example. Let me, let me put more meat on the bone. Say, say um, the the founder, you know, the Founders Club is, is done, and and say you're a manager and you're getting paid a five to one, and then say you know a month later you become a senior manager. As a senior manager, every 
you're entitled now to 10 to one. Every new TCM that you enroll from that point forward, we're going to give you a 10 to one ratio from that point forward. And it can be a year later when you're, if you're a president and any new buddy you bring on board as a TCM, then we'll give you a hundred to one. So that carries okay. with you for the rest of your life that you're involved in the company. Perfect. Pretty cool, huh? Absolutely. Body. Did I say that right, Body? Ty? <laughs> Ty, I'm sorry. No worries. It's all good. I'm very used to that. So, yes, it's Fatai. Thank you, John. You're doing a great job. Love the compensation. Mm -hmm. plan. Um, so we had a, a little launch party out here in Southern California this past Thursday. We had about six guests and two confirmed signups. So we're really excited about that. Thank you. And we did have a question that came up um, about shipping costs. So uh -huh. sometimes I know that there is it going to be one streamlined shipping cost or are different vendors going to be able to charge different uh, shipping costs? That was something that came up um, in our meeting. And so if you could answer that, that would be great. Thank you. Yeah. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to answer that, that two way. I'm going to come back with an official response from the company on Monday. I'll put that out on, on, on Telegram. Okay. But from what I, from what I understand, the conversations that I've, that I've been in, that I've had, is that the shipping costs are, are very aggressive. So, I'm a, so um, these, these vendors in the system, just like in, in um, Amazon, they're competing against one, of, you know, one another. For example, you ever go in there and say, oh, you can buy, here's this thing you can buy. And, and you click it, all of a sudden there, there's like 26 people that are selling the product all the way from $3.18 to $4.64. I mean, and you can pick and choose. And, and it and it automatically defaults to the best price and the highest ranking and and all, all that stuff, right? So they're always competing with one another. They're competing the same way on shipping price, right? So we don't have you know the Amazon program today. We don't have the Amazon program of you know you're going to pay X amount per month that we're all members of. And we get free shipping on select things and stuff like that. They're competing so that some of the vendors were shipped for free. Some of the vendors will ship for a nominal price. Some of the vendors will ship whatever whatever their cost is, and you can choose to get it or, or choose not to get it. But I will default to, even if you had to pay shipping costs on something, unless unless you're, you're shipping gold, unless you're shipping gold bars or lead, or cases of water, for example, right? The money you're saving because of the Z buy, buy down is still going to be substantially more in most cases uh, than it would be from a, from a shipping cost perspective, right? Um, it may be a little bit different sometimes. I don't have the exact language on that. Let me get that language and come back to everybody. But the objective is, is to be very aggressive on that. Some are, are shipping for free as part of their, their you know, in, in the system process to differentiate themselves. Um, but then even, again, with the, the amount that we're getting off on the product, it's still going to be less, depending on what you actually buy. The intent is... Is not, not to everybody. You're going to pay everything in shipping what you just saved when you bought the product, right? So let me come back with a more specific answer because I've heard the answer before and it was it was very positive, very compelling. I want to get the correct words put together from a company statement, and I'll put that on a Telegram on Monday. Okay. Thank you, John. You're welcome. Really great question. Hey, hey just out of curiosity, what part of Southern California? <laughs> the IE. We started it up out here. We're gonna blow it up. Where at? Yes. What, what part? In the Inland Empire area. Inland Empire. Fantastic. In the, you know, yeah. Area. Yeah. yeah, I grew We're up in North Carolina. Having you guys out here, come out as guests once we get it going. Oh, I'm. I can't wait to to get back out to California. I love it. Love the weather. Love everything else. Appreciate you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, hold on. Richard Smith is calling me with a correction. I bet. Hey, Richard. Oh, I'm, I'm still on it right now. I, I thought you were calling. To, I got everybody on the call right now. I thought you were calling to critique me on something. <laughs> Everybody's laughing. Hey, I, I'm, 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 I'll call you back. Mike. No, that's not. He, he was in a different meeting. I thought he was calling me back to critique me on something. All right. Very cool. Hey. Uh, yeah. Uh, back, back to the comp plan. Uh, if my personal TCM refers somebody, uh, do I get a corporate match off that referral? So you have a, a so ask the question one more time. 
Yep. So I ha- I invite a personal card holder, right? That personal card holder refers a friend to get the card. Uh, do I get corporate matched for that referral who who then becomes a personal TCM? Um, you're you're going to get you're going to get paid. Um, you're going to you're going to earn up to twenty basis points on that referral because a personal TCM referred somebody and, and that falls within your personal TCM group and you're going to, you can earn as much as 20 basis points on that individual. He's asking about matching though. Yeah. Matching. Oh, oh, if, oh, if, if you, the answer is yes. Thank you. Great question. Vaughn, there you go again. I need you by my side all the time, but I'm telling you. So if you, have, so, so if you have a, um, if you personally, if you personally enroll a customer, let me think of this thing here. You personally enroll a yep. customer, we're going to give you like a 10 to 1 to 20 to 1. If they refer somebody, my understanding is that, yes, you get you get the referral on, on all the referrals too, but I'm going to write that down, and that's the third thing I'm going to put back out in, into the system. So there, there's a referral from um, a TCM, personal TCM. How's the match work? My understanding is that you're going to get the full match on that. But I will get that. I will drop that out to everybody to make sure. Okay. And when I drop the information on these three things, when I when I I'll, I'll let everybody know that you know these are three questions we had from the training on Saturday. Here are the answers, so it'll stand out in the T- in the Telegram. You'll be able to see it, and I'll, and I'll pin it. That way, you can you can go you can be able to see it. But that's a really great question, Joshua. Um, I'm certain of the answer, but let me let me just validate and come back to it. Okay. Thank you very much. Any other questions? Anybody? Linda Morrison. Oh, that, that was Linda has the thumbs up. Any other questions? That anybody have? I have a question. That was my question. Okay. Oh, that was your question. Uh, that was my. Okay, my hands up, thumbs up, and a question. Okay. Okay. Got it. You are a talented um, lady. You go ahead, Linda. TCMs, when we're able to sign up TCMs, if we personally sign them up as a TCM, it's clarification, John. We sign them up as a personal TCM, and they see the vision of this, and they upgrade to a DBO. They are linked to us, correct? Correct. And what if they sign up people to be with for the TCM, those personal TCMs that they've signed up goes with them, not with me. If they have any referrals, it would, it would those were, well, that, that one is still to be decided on. We have some business rules to write still, and that's one of the open business rules. Okay. So let me, let me, um, isn't that related to the legalities of franchising and things like that? The yeah. laws in different states. Yeah. Well, yeah. but we, but the, but it also came up that if they choose to go sign up with somebody else as a DBO, as a DBO with somebody else, those customers that they've signed up stay with me. Correct. Right? Yeah, Correct. and I'll. I'll repeat that, that quite you're correct. So and, and I'll I'll clarify that and just I'm just writing this down real quick. Um okay. That's so what the, I understand. Yeah, yeah. So the question that Linda, so say for example, um you enroll somebody as a as a TCM, and then a month later, their neighbor goes to them and go, oh, my gosh, you need to look at this company transact card. You need to get involved with us. Um, that person decides to become a DBO. They can sign up with their neighbor as a DBO. They're not locked to you only because. So as a customer, that they will stay with you. You don't lose that customer and it goes to them when they become a DBO. That customer stays with you, okay? So they're a customer under you, but they're a DBO, but they can choose anybody they want to to become a DBO with. If their neighbor goes to them, oh, you need to become a DBO, and they can enroll as a DBO. They don't, they're not your property. They don't belong to you. They can go anywhere they want to, should that happen. But then, 
But then, John, if they've referred people as the TCM, those TCMs stay with you, not go with them. That is that is correct. If they go out of lineage, that's correct. That's yeah. That needs to be really drummed into. <laughs> Everyone needs to understand. Yeah, that. yeah. There, I yeah. mean, and so, you know, so these are really <laughs> important. You know, these are called business rules. Of some of in. These are this is that intricate data that is really goes into kind of the fine tooth of what people in customer service and compliance are so good at. They have all this information ready readily available. There's a there's a list. There's probably twelve different things that we still need to write the business rules for. Let me let me give you an example, if I may. And all companies have different decisions, right? So for you to be active in in the system today, you're paying 150, 150 a month to be active. If you choose not to be active, how many months can you be inactive for before you lose your group and you got to come back in again? Somebody can't sign up and all of a sudden don't do anything. And all of a sudden, you know, um, you know, Vons come in and just exploded this group under under them, and they come back and they go, "Oh my gosh, I'm going to be active." So I'm walking back into X members. Of, you know, there's a period of time if you're inactive for three consecutive months, or if you're inactive for six out of any 12 month period, or there's a business rule associated with that that at some point you just can't come back in and say, "Oh, I, I want to begin to to do this now." When you weren't doing it, you can come back in, but you need to re enroll that business rule still needs to be identified. Okay. Which we'll have, we'll, we'll have that business where we will, we will I, identify it. Um, but I will say with this new announcement in the comp plan coming up uh, in on May 20th, that whole thing goes away. Now I know I've just really confused you, but that's okay. Cause I made a correct statement. You'll, you know, and it will let you. So that concern, it, it goes away. But you won't know until you hear it. But it, so don't don't fret on. Is it two months or three months or five? It, it, don't worry about it. it. Goes away. Just it, you're cool. You're in a great spot. Okay. Okay, John. We'll all be at the meeting on the twentieth. We'll be there. We'll be there. We'll be there. <laughs> yeah. I'm a, very important. Very important. Good deal. Well, a great question, Linda. Appreciate. Thank you very much. All right, everybody. I have to go do some taxes now. I gotta, I gotta get that finished up for my my father's estate. I need to go work on some stuff. Hey, thank you all. Here, I'm gonna turn this off here real quick.